Welcome to the last video you will see in this room. Look how sad and empty it looks. <laughs> I'm Nemesis. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Alright, before we get started, as per usual, let's talk about the song of the Midifiki Week. This is a no-brainer, ladies and gentlemen. It's a no-brainer. You and I both know what is the song of the week. By the day that you see this, it might not be super recent, but the day that I'm filming this, it is very recent because Mr. Babani released the song Jonaguni. And do I need to say more? No! The answer is no! My favorite part of the song is when he says No me busqué en Instagram Mami buscame en casa Pa que vean lo que pasa Calm down because copyright But yeah, that's the song of the week Take it or leave it Let's move on <laughs> Alright, so as you saw by the title of this video You know what's up Today's gonna be a very chill video I know I've been bombarding y'all with my hair content With a lot of like informative videos you know very thorough information whatever but today is not not the case today i'm just sitting down with you guys i'm gonna do my makeup and i'm gonna give you some life updates so th that's i mean that's it that's the intro let's let's get started <laughs> okay so little life update number one i'm finally moving if you follow me on instagram this is not news you would have already seen my 10,000 different stories about this freaking move. Lord in heaven, has it been complicated. Oh, also, all the products I'll be using, um, I'm not going to mention them, but I will list them down below in the description. So if you see something that you like, just hop down there and see what the fuck I'm wearing on my face. For my OG subscribers, the ones that have been here for quite a bit, if you saw that this video of my um, 2021 manifesting board. I don't know if you remember, but one of my biggest and most important goals for this year was to move out of the Bronx. And look at that, it's happening. It's happening, bitch. So yeah, for my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I am very happy that you're here. Um, I have been living in the Bronx for a while now. I would say like three years. Oh, also I forgot to mention, it's such a cloudy day today. So the lighting is questionable. I'm so sorry. I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll get closer so that you can actually see my face better. So yes, as I was saying, I've been living in the Bronx for three to four years now or something like that. I don't, I'm not even sure. Um, and i really tried to like it it just didn't it didn't work for me but i will be moving to me and my boyfriend's favorite neighborhood in all of new york city which is astoria <laughs> astoria is in queens for those of you who don't know much about um new york city neighborhoods in my opinion is the best <laughs> Don't come for me, Brooklyn people. Jesus, this foundation is kind of like too light for me. Whatever, we already did it. There's no turning back. Bronzer will have to save my life today. I mean, the main reason why I'm giving you guys this update that I will be moving and all is because it might affect my filming schedule for a couple of, I don't know, days or maybe a week, I don't know. Because moving, girl, moving is already stressful enough. Moving in this city, I'll give it a 3 out of 10. <laughs> that brings me to lip... Jesus Christ, this concealer is actually darker than this foundation. Mistakes were made. So, update number two that kind of pertains to you guys. So, yo girl got a new job. And it kind of goes back again to this freaking video, the manifesting for 2021, where I don't know if you guys remember, but I mentioned that I really want to make it a goal to work for a skincare brand or with a skincare brand. And even though I've been working a bit as a influencer blah, 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 uh, <laughs> with a couple of skincare brands, um, I kind of now am part of a team in a skincare brand and I am very happy. It's a little part-time job working from home and I'm only telling you guys because that will actually increase my chances to get content up more consistently because since i will be working from home it will give me more chance to make more content have more time to edit for you guys so that videos are up more consistently 
um, throughout the week and yeah ooh, I'm really happy and just wanted to share that update with you guys because if you've seen that video of me trying to manifest these things uh, a girl was really hopeful and I am very surprised that some of the things from that video have been starting to come true let's go to show bitch manifesting works I mean manifesting slash actually working towards those things because you can't just be fucking manifesting things not doing anything about it and then hope that they will come true you know you know now that I mentioned this whole thing that I'm gonna be working from home so hopefully that'll help me be more consistent with my uploads um, I'm gonna let you guys on a little not a secret it's just a, a thing that I want to accomplish I want to be able to start uploading at least twice per week <sighs> i took that huge ass breath that sigh because i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i will let you guys know that i am gonna work towards it would you guys like that are you gonna get tired of seeing me my face let me know <laughs> i really enjoy making content and my favorite part is engaging with you guys like actually having conversations in the comments or having you guys hit me up on on instagram it's so freaking fun like because i i can't talk about the shit that i talk about on youtube with literally anybody else in my life <laughs> like my friends don't give a fuck about wavy hair my boyfriend does not give a fuck about fenty beauty's latest launch but you guys do and it's so cool that i i finally have people to talk about this shit you know and you guys sit listen I'm gonna, I'm gonna get emotional so yeah speaking of like more content and whatnot okay so i know that you guys really like my wavy hair content and me too sis i live i live i love to create it and what i love the most is that i'm actually learning more about my hair and how to take care of it through the content that i'm making like you guys push me to learn more things and then i can share them with you and help you in any way that i can uh but i don't know if i want to make it the main topic of my channel because that was not the plan you know when i started this i mostly just wanted to talk about makeup and skincare but that type of content has been kind of like taking a backseat <laughs> because y'all seem to enjoy my my hair content way more than my uh, and the rest of my this looks kind of crazy what what am i doing give me one second let me blend this out all right sorry as i was saying i don't know if i want to make it the main content of my channel but i guess i should because i mean listen if that's what y'all want from me who the fuck am i to deny you but at the same time i don't want to deny myself the the joy of also making other beauty content so i don't want to stop making that type of content you know so i don't know you guys give me your opinion like do you enjoy watching beauty stuff from me or are you solely subscribed to my channel just for the hair content and have no interest whatsoever in watching my makeup shit y'all can be honest with me it's fine there's a reason why i'm asking okay now i think this is the last question i'm gonna ask y'all i'm sorry if this is annoying but i really want you guys' feedback and i know a lot of people don't really mind about this particular thing but do you guys have a preference on how you um see videos like artificial light versus natural light this is so fucking random especially for content that has to do with uh makeup do you enjoy content more when it's like on with artificial light i know some people like that i don't know they I think they take YouTubers more seriously when they <laughs> when they see that they have a fancy like um, lighting setup. I don't fucking know. Did I just go overboard with my blush? Yeah, I think that's all like the big um, updates that I wanted to give you guys. So please, please give me your feedback. Don't just freaking watch the video and not give me. Feed I'm gonna be so mad at y'all. Okay, now I have to go do my eyebrows, and I need silence and concentration for this. So I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm back browser on so promise y'all won't laugh at me promise your girl nemesis she's a musical theater fanatic as some of you may know the movie for in the heights is already playing in theaters and on hbo max it was filmed in 2019 and how do i know this because i was an extra for the film i got to be an extra for the song 96,000, uh, which is a scene that was filmed in the pool in Washington Heights. So for that scene, 
um, it was supposed to be a very like hot summer day and it was supposed to be like a hundred degrees and we were all dying to be in the pool and whatever that was that was the vibe of the scene bitch in reality that day was freezing that day was cold as a motherfucker that day was raining it was so cloudy bitch the last place I wanted to be at was near a pool but it's a committed actress <laughs> I played the part I played the part yes your girl was wearing denim shorts and a little like bikini top a pink one so all i'm saying is if you go watch the movie when sunny is spitting out his verse just keep an eye out <laughs> just keep an eye out because you might see me and i was sitting by the edge of the pool hyping sunny up you might see me bitch give your eye out oh give your eye open that little bit when i actually got to be in front of the camera was not planned this man literally improvised this shit out of thin air he was like wait 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 um just let me get a couple extras he like pulled some of us like okay sit right here by the edge of the pool and then he put anthony ramos and graffiti pete put us all there shot it once and it made the cut of the movie i was like what? I wasn't I was not expecting that shit to make the cut until we saw that I saw the trailer for the first time and I saw it and I was like get the fuck out of here that shit actually made the movie he literally shot it once because then it started raining Mr. John M. Chu thanks for doing that thanks for being a genius so yeah babes that's all the updates i think yeah i think so i think that's all the updates that i wanted to give y'all it's been a crazy last couple of weeks for me because of all those changes like all the way from the beginning of like apartment hunting so actually finding the apartment to going through the application uh, process to new job training new schedule new routine etc it's been a whirlwind anyways guys that was it I really hope you guys didn't find this uh, too boring. I know it wasn't informative at all. And that's what a lot of y'all are getting used to on my channel. This is just more chill. Just for you guys to know what the fuck is going on with me behind the scenes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and commenting. Give me all your feedback, motherfuckers. Also, if you don't already, go follow me on Instagram at Mimio6 for more pictures of my photos. And on TikTok at NemesisMarie6 for more personality content. Random shit. <laughs> and most importantly, girl, boy, gender non-binary, have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye!